Dr. Lewis. Hello. Hi, my name is Jimmy Claybrooks, and I'm an artist. I specialize in um, egg tempera. That's the medium of choice that I work with. Um, my question is somewhat biased because I'm speaking from the frame of reference of a, a working artist, not a, a another person. But it seems to me that there is a tremendous bias and prejudice in the art community at large against artists who are realists and artists who tend towards realism. It seems that if you're a realist, especially in certain circles, you're not considered really to be an artist. How, what do you say to uh, us and to people who come to a function like this? Because most of the art that the general public identifies with is art that is, leans toward realism more, much more so than abstract art. What do you say to, uh, to us and to artists who strive to fulfill themselves and yet there's this glass ceiling or invisible wall or barrier that says you can't really become part of the art community. You can't be recognized because you don't fit a certain category. Well, uh, that's really what you're saying about realism. Uh, is That's really a standard kind of art form in the Western world. And it's also something that we always reverse back to. And the, um, what we call abstraction really is a part of realism. Because when you paint, you begin with forms, shapes, and forms. You begin with abstract forms. Exactly. And you build on it. And so really, it's something that is a part of, abstractions are built into realism. And what is happening in some cases and with the galleries, they want something new, different, and way out, and so forth and so on. But there are many galleries that respond to what we call realism. If you look in Art in America, Art News, they will have long articles maybe on people who do what we call abstract art. However, if you keep looking, you'll find many of the galleries, the important old line galleries and new galleries deal with figurative art, what we call realism. And what you have to do is to find a gallery that really is in tune with what you are trying to do. There are a lot of them out there. I, my work is basically figurative. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have no problem finding galleries. I don't, I don't try to deal with those that are so what they call avant-garde that they don't recognize what I'm doing. So it, you have to deal with those people who recognize what you're doing, and there are a lot of them out there, especially in the African-American community. In African-American ga galleries, I deal with, with Stella Jones and... and um, Bamani and UFA Gallery, all of them recognize realism as an important art form, and it's, it's the long traditional art form that uh, we always revert back to. So don't give it up, and don't try to do what those other people who do, who specialize in so-called abstract art want you to do. It's all the same. It's, you're doing abstract art, and, and let's face it, what we are doing, and what the other people are doing, none of it's real anyway. It's all an abstraction. And it's, it's what we see, some we see with our eyes and our internal self, and others, uh, you know, really do what is almost an unfinished kind of thing when it comes to what we do. It's not unfinished, it's, it's they're dealing from an intuitive inside kind of feeling. What Lohenfeld used to call the haptic rather than the visual. But they're both valid and legitimate. And uh, the longest lasting uh, form has been realism. And it will continue to be extremely important. So 
don't don't give it up. Keep doing it, and you'll find your, your the people who who will support you. Thank you. Okay.